Hi, welcome to my channel. I have my next video in my text-based RPG series ready to go in the next few days. In the meantime, I want to put up this short tutorial about how to convert a PDF file to a text file. 1. PDF Library The library I used for the conversion was PDF Miner. Part of the reason for my choice was that it had the most helpful information online. In fact, the key function for this postage stamp size program was published on Stack Overflow by, I'm going to butcher this name, Pieter, who identified himself as one of the maintainers of PDF Miner 6. 1a. PDF to text. Honestly, if you only have one or two files to convert, I would advise you to use PDF to text.py utility that comes with PDF Miner. Just run the utility from the prompt in the terminal. And that's it. And I've put the, uh, the command on the screen there. 2. Creating the program. The program is very simple. It only has two functions. Here's the main function. As you can see, what we are doing is walking through a directory structure, beginning with the root directory. As input, we take in the root directory we want to draw files from, which I've called base directory. Then I have the root directory where I want to duplicate the directory structure and populate it with the converted text files. That's the idea. Very simple. Now let's step through the code. 3. Stepping through the code. Let's say you've put the files you want to convert in the following directory. For those listening, I've just put it up on the screen and you want to store the converted files in this other directory, also on the screen. By the way, don't worry if you have nested directories. All the PDF files in the specified directory structure will be converted. 3a, OSWalk. OSWalk is awesome. It will allow you to walk through all the files in a directory structure. Now, there are several ways you could do this, but here's what I've done. First, if the root directory I will be placing the converted files into does not exist, then I create it. Then, I search the file names and ignore any file that does not end in PDF. Finally, I print out a notice of the file name of the particular file I will be converting, as well as the number of files I have converted so far. This will give me a general sense of where I am in the conversion process. 3b. Please quit. There is one odd thing you may have noticed about the please quit variable. I'm using an older computer that will overheat if I convert hundreds of files at a time, so I tell this program to quit after completing in my case, 30 files. Okay, I got a bit ahead of myself there. Before we look at the actual conversion function, I set up the new file path by replacing base directory with output base directory and PDF with text. That's it. I could have done it many other ways, but this is simple and it works. Okay, now let's look at the actual conversion function. Point four, converting a PDF file to a text file. First, we check to see whether the input is valid. In this case, I'm just checking to see that the input variables aren't empty. First, we initialize output string and then open the file. Actually, I got this code from a post over at Stack Overflow. I mentioned it at the beginning of this video. Here's the code. As you can see, I've changed the code very little. And that's it. If everything goes to plan, what is on your screen right now is an example of my program working. There isn't really much to see. If you've gotten something from this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, good coding.